Hey guys, it's me Aaron Lowe and welcome back to Lloyd's Comics Collectibles. And today we're unboxing slash reviewing my first Ultimate. I've been stoked about this ever since I started wrestling collecting. I kind of wanted to, uh, I wanted an Ultimate, but I didn't want to pay for it because <coughs> they're a little bit more expensive. So I got one on the um, ringside Easter sale and uh, man, I'm stoked. This box is like. Elite boxes are, you know, pretty stout. This box is, is, but this box has got some weight to it, and it just, I'm a little breathy guy, but man, it's it's almost tempting just to like leave him in the box. I'm not gonna, but it's tempting, and I don't have the room to, you know, just like have two of each, cause. In my head, if I'm not going to display it where I can see it, then what's the point? So we're going to open them up here. But, uh, oh, great art, Shinsuke. There's his name and font and all that good stuff. The Ultimates line. <coughs> Pretty standard fare everywhere else. And then on the back. Now, this is cool. This I have not seen them do. I didn't know they did this. That, of course, well, let's see where am I at. There's Shinsuke, and then you can see the figure. The actual figure. That's pretty neat. Uh, stat 6 foot 2, Kyoto, Japan. The Kinshasa Ken 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 Knee Strike. And Career Achievements 2018 Royal Rumble winner. Now, I'm not sure if this is what he wore to that Royal Rumble. You guys can check on the network or Google it. Or I may Google it between now and the time the video is up when I'm in it and put it in there for you. I think this is one of my favorite outfits of his because I, when I sort of watched a little bit of New Japan when I had New Japan, I think he was sort of going around something sort of similar to this the the band style um, jacket. So I'm, I'm glad to have him and this well, I won't re replace because I don't have enough figures to be like well. If I got to display one, I'm going to hear it. But at least when that time comes, you know, I've got a more posable figure than my Shinsuke basic. But let's, let's see how getting this guy open. I was half tempted to maybe open him off camera and then do the review. But I mean, I think some of the fun of these is the unboxing itself. Let's see, there's there. Sorry, the puppers are playing. If that running in the hallway or the the bump picks up on the mic. Okay. I'm guessing this will work. It looks pretty close. At least some of this red part's not part of the Okay, it might be part of the box. Brute strength it! There we go. Come on. No one should be something valuable here. Like this. Eight and a half. Oh. Oh, it's the tape. The the box is hard to give, but there's there's some tape on each side. The tape. There we go. Start around like it's, it's like three fourths laid down. Why is it bouncing back up? Six. Man, this, even with him out of it, this box is heavy. That is has some nice packaging, but let's see what we got here. Let's. We just saw in the box, but comes with two pairs of arms, four, well, technically six hands because he's got a pair in him, and three faces. So let's let's get. Hey everybody, this might look a little weird considering if you've seen the beginning of this video, but I decided that the. Um quality of the video wasn't up to par so I left the package opening part uh, for you guys to see since I opened him a while back because I, I I'm very impatient and wanted to play with my new toys or at least put them on my shelf so I thought I'd do this so you can sort of see the figure a little bit better and up close so as it said on the box we are looking at the ultimate Shinsuke Nakamura. It looks pretty good. I really like the detail on the clothes, the folds and stuff. But uh, I guess we'll start up at the top. 
you got I'm not sure when he wore this outfit but um it's a, he's got his red and gold jacket it's got the gold there the gold rings and uh, bars across the shoulders and it'll focus it's got the gold bars down the the arms of the jacket and it's got this really neat see if I can get it in detail or in focus here the, I guess it's ribbon on the jacket that's really nice um the jacket opens up in the back. We'll sort of go over that a little bit here in a second if you are unaware of how this one does it. I'm, I really like the smirk face. If it'll, it'll focus. Does that help? There you go, man. That's one of my favorite ones, but okay. So I guess before we jump into every last thing else, let's go over this jacket gimmick. Okay, if you've had a Mattel Elite, you've seen them, they cast the clothes in rubber. What's cool about this one is, this is the only part here that's cast in rubber. Uh, which sounds a little weird at first, but if you've ever tried to take off a full rubber coat on like a Sting or something, because that was my experience, it feels real kind of sketch because it's like, man, am I about to break this figure? And plus, obviously, it limits the posability. How this gimmick works, sorry for the pupper in the background, is you pop off his arms because they're the jacket sleeves. You flip him over. Which side is it? Yeah. And then the, those little tabs unpop. And. Then you switch in the second pair of arms that come with him. Okay, make sure I didn't put the wrong arm on the wrong side. And this one. And give him another hand. I guess because I forgot to put the hand back in. And then you got ring attire Shinsuke. Pretty baller. I like it. And plus it makes it way easier to to switch out the uh, the coat. Now granted, the reason why they don't do this on the leads is the extra set of arms it would cost. Because I think when these come out they're like $35 to $40 compared to $25 for an elite. But it's it's a nice touch. Uh, okay, some other stuff to go over real quick. You saw the jacket arms. The in-ring arms, in-ring gear arms have a wristband and then a handkerchief and a, another wristband um, just to show the wristbands come off which is neat a little bit of added detail you know it could be good for like in-ring shots maybe like you wanted just his wristbands and stuff to come off and just to show it does, I don't know if it'll show up on camera here this does move. I'm just afraid of how much it might would have. No, okay, no, no, okay, it's not that bad. When I was doing the uh, the written article, I was real afraid of stretching it too much. That's not that bad. Okay, so yeah, you can definitely take both off. Uh, now with the jacket, obviously he's got a gold belt, and he's got if it'll show. Yeah, it shows better on the camera. This red darker red square pattern down the pants legs he also comes with you've seen this one is the the smirking face he comes with and I guess I'll just do this real quick to show you and then you pop on the other head, head sorry guys is this the one that yeah and then he's got this face which is I guess the standard one or I don't know a confused face but I feel like can you see how I feel like it sits a lot higher on his, his neck especially there on the side and I can't really get it to go down more so I don't see so I don't know if mine's molded weird or if that heads that way 
and then you have okay that one okay I call it the come on face if you're a Nakamura fan you know when he does well he basically does so look into that and then tells him to bring it oh have I got the wrong hand no okay so I think that's a cool face to have too. And uh I do like how on this one the hair's molded like he's you know, he swept his hair back. Like he does for that. It's got good texture on the side for the shave for the side of his head and the stubble and the eyes look great. And uh as you saw on the others they actually painted the uh, mouth guard, so that's good. Okay, real quick, we're going to go over the hands. You got your standard. These two are pretty standard. You got the uh, the hand that's more for holding like accessories. Sorry if this is a little out of focus. I think it did cut back on autofocus when I updated. So I might need to go cut that off. And then your standard closed fist hand. And my favorite ones with this one are the, I call them the good vibration hands, but you know, that's just what he does when he comes out. So I think those are cool to have for some posing. Um, articulation on this guy is, according to Ringside Collectible site, was 32 points for, or 30 points for articulation. And I did some research that says an elite is 26. You know, he's got the stereotypical ball joint head, ball joint shoulders and hips. And, uh, he also got the, uh, you can see there the upper bicep swivel or upper arm swivel. And it says the, the elbows are double jointed. I think these are. I don't think the... Okay, no, they are. They've got that little slotty bit to sort of maintain the illusion of the jacket. So, yeah, they're the, the elbows and knees are double jointed. And then you got, you pretty much seen this is standard elite hand design. His chest, he, he bends there a little bit at the midsection, swivels at the waist. See, so is there anything else I'm missing on this? Oh, um, the lower shin doesn't swivel, but he, the feet do wiggle a bit. But because of the uh, molding on the baggy pants, they don't move very much. But they do have the tip, the toes at the tips bend. <laughs> I'm not sure how useful that is, but it's nice to have. But a really good figure. It's my first, not well. It's actually my second Nakamura. When I first started collecting wrestling figures, I wanted to get started, and I was impatient, so I went to Walmart after watching like the major wrestling figure podcast and just bought like three basics. That's all they had at the Walmart at the time. I got a Shinsuke, a Ruby Riot, and a Brett. And at this time, I didn't know that female basics have comparable posability to like elites but I knew the guys were going to be the best so this is my first ultimate and this is my first better shin scan I'm really happy that I got it um looks like him and you know the debate when you talk with people is like basics or elites or ultimates is I feel like if you're going to do posing and you're an adult collector you know, you can get elites for ten, twelve dollars. I mean, uh, basics for ten, twelve dollars. But for like ten dollars more, you get all this posability, and it's they're funner to display. And then if you want to do some figure photography, which is fun, I want to get in a ring to do my own and sort of fiddle with that. It just gives you more openness. But I can see basics being good for younger kids. You just want to get a toy to play with. It's not super expensive but they can enjoy and the ultimates they add a lot of extras like i said you've seen the two pairs of arms or the not two the extra pair of arms they got three pairs of hands 
three heads. And, you know, this one's not new anymore. This was from uh, Ultimate Series 2 that came with, out with Bret Hart. Also, and you can pick this up on Ringside for 25 bucks right now. So it's literally the price of an Elite. So if you're a Shinsuke Nakamura fan, I can't think of a good reason not to get this. I mean, maybe if you've got a bunch of Elite of Elites... And sometimes his outfits are kind of similar. Like if you take this shirt off, this is real. His shirt off, this is real similar, kind of to the basic that I've got. Just the basic has stripes on the legs. So I mean, depending, you might could argue maybe it's not that different. But I like that jacket, and I think ultimates are worth it. But I mean, that's on a case by case scenario. If you don't like Shinsuke Nakamura, it's not worth getting because I think wrestling figures, unless you're doing some photography and maybe you feel like you need like if you're doing current stuff like you want to do the artist collective so you need a Shinsuke a Cesaro and I find you a Sami Zayn maybe this is the one to get even though I don't think he really wears no he wears the jumpsuits now I think but it would work <sighs> sorry guys kitty gone <clears throat> so you know if you don't like Shinsuke probably not worth picking up but if you are a Shinsuke fan I think it's probably the best Shinsuke out there, or one of the best. And even if you got other Shinsukes, I do know, or other elites, I was thinking Shinsuke, you can use these hands with them. I didn't keep pulling on my AJ's head to see if it would pop off. I assume it will, but I don't want to mess up my AJ. So, I, I stopped. I would assume you can pop the heads off just like this one. Maybe not. I don't know. So you might even be able to use the heads. <clears throat> You'll have to read into that. Because, I, like I said, I didn't want to break my age ass. I pulled a couple of times. I'm like, mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, I hope you had fun. And I'm going to cl close it here. If you can think any way I can make these videos a little better, sorry for the the focus. Like, um, I'll check my settings. I think it's set back to auto. But I hope this is a little bit better than the grainy, sort of not good looking video that's overexposed for the packaging. In the future, I've done a better job, I think, of filming them, so it won't be quite as bad. But I hope this helps it get better. If you would, please follow us on the social medias. Maybe I'll put up some figure photography. Check out the article on the WordPress site. It's got pictures and even got a good shot of this, so you can see it a little better. And I think you spend spending time with me, guys. And remember, just love, no matter which hobby is, love it and share it with others, guys. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.